everything inside me. Since 2011, the Netflix series, Black Mirror, has been creeping out millions of viewers about the perverse effects of technology. While the series is considered to be science fiction, its episodes are nevertheless based on real-life trends and products that are already part of society today. The Black Mirror Secret. To vividly demonstrate how we are one misstep away from an Orwellian nightmare. The fifth season of the series took things to a slightly different direction. It included a somewhat unusual episode, which adopted a somewhat different tone, and featured a somewhat unexpected star. Mealy Cyrus. In the episode titled, Rachel, Jack and Ashley 2, Mealy plays the role of Ashley O, a pop star who is extremely popular with young people. But then, we discover that Ashley O is actually a mind-controlled slave with a fake persona, who is tightly controlled by a team of ruthless handlers, who keep her under constant heavy medication. If you've watched other videos on this channel, you know that none of this is fiction. Several pop stars actually live this way. Including Mealy Cyrus who has been a pawn of the entertainment industry since a very young age. From a child actress in the Disney series Hannah Montana, Mealy turned into a hypersexualized pop star when she began her solo career. The fact that she plays this exact role in an episode of Black Mirror is creepy especially when considering some events in Mealy's own past. Although Black Mirror depicts a sanitized and romanticized version of mind control, several basic elements are there. Here's a look at the episode. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. This screenshot shows Ashley O in her music video entitled, Head Like a Hole. Symbolic song title. At the beginning of the episode, Ashley O is presented as a pop star with an empowerment vibe who constantly talks about the importance of controlling one's own destiny. Ironically, not unlike most pop stars out there, she is not empowered, and she has absolutely no control over her own destiny. Indeed, her entire life and career are controlled by her aunt, Catherine, who is actually her MK handler. While she acts like a warm caring mother figure, Catherine always makes sure that Ashley is obedient and productive through heavy medication. This screenshot shows, during an interview, Catherine instructs Ashley on what to say. While, on camera, Ashley is all fun and smiles, we quickly realize that she is basically a prisoner of her house and her pop star persona. While in her room, Ashley secretly writes darker songs about her situation. When Catherine hears Ashley singing about being an animal in a cage, an apt way of describing an MK slave, she asks her if she's taking her meds. In past videos, we've seen how controlled pop stars sometimes attempted to break out of their persona to write songs honest songs describing what they're going through. For example, Kesha's song, Dancing with the Devil, which was written while she was under the control of the producer Dr. Luke, talks about how she sold her soul, and that there's no turning back. Unsurprisingly enough, the song was never released. In a meeting with Ashley's doctor, Catherine worries about her niece writing obtuse BS that nobody will buy. The conclusion, her meds need to be changed. While secretly filming Ashley, Catherine finds out that she was not taking her meds. After discovering that Ashley wanted more control over her life and career, Catherine did what any caring aunt would do, she drugged her enough to put her in a coma. While Ashley was purposely drugged by her handler, news reports claim that she's hospitalized due to an allergic reaction to shellfish. A similar situation actually happened to Mealy Cyrus in 2014. This is a screenshot from an actual 2014 news report about Mealy Cyrus being hospitalized due to an allergic reaction. Mealy actually posted a picture on social media of her doing the one-eye sign holding an octopus doll while she was in the hospital. A symbolic way of saying, 
I'm here because I'm an industry pawn. Even stranger. Mealy filmed a disturbing music video while she was hospitalized. This is a screenshot from the video, Blonde Super Freak Steals the Magic Brain, depicting Mealy Cyrus being drugged with lots of pills. She also gets her brain stolen by a super freak, a metaphor for mind control. Is Black Mirror insinuating that Mealy's 2014 allergic reaction was, in fact, something else? That scenes also recall the real-life situation of Britney Spears. As explained in my video about the Free Britney movement, Britney was forcibly detained in a mental health facility after she refused to take her meds. The story was first covered up by her handlers who claimed that she was taking time off due to her father's poor health. Even while hospitalized, Ashley O is under tight control. While at the hospital, Ashley's security personnel prevents doctors from checking up on her. Back at home, Ashley is kept in a vegetative state, while songs are extracted from her dreams. While Ashley is in a coma, her aunt launches Ashley Eternal, a holographic version of the singer, complete with a fully synthesized voice. This screenshot shows Catherine unveils Ashley Eternal. This scene is also not science fiction. It actually started years ago. On 2014, a holographic version of Michael Jackson performed at the Billboard Awards. Unsurprisingly enough, the performance was drenched in the occult elite's agenda. Fortunately for Ashley O, oh, she snapped out of her coma and was able to free herself from her handler's control. Some critics did not approve of the happy ending of this episode because it did not fit the usually bleak outlook of the Black Mirror series. But was the ending truly happy? When Ashley got out of her drug-induced coma, the episode quickly turned a Hannah Montana episode, complete with Mealy Cyrus joking around with a robotic AI version of herself. Then she gets involved in a ridiculous police chase which magically ends right in front of Catherine who was still presenting Ashley Eternal to a crowd of people. In the episode Surreal Lending, Ashley, who is still in her hospital gown, comes out of the car and gives the finger to her aunt, who is still on stage. Then, Catherine turns straight to the camera and says, oh, F it. What does this mean? Usually, when a character breaks the fourth wall, it is to convey a specific message. During the end credits, we see that Ashley's career took a new direction. Ashley has a grungy new look, with a grungy new sound. Judging by that scene, Ashley appears to be finally performing the music she loves. To many, that's a happy ending that breaks with the Black Mirror tradition. However, there are some details that need pointing out. First, the song she performs is a cover of Nine Inch Nails' Head Like a Hole. Her hit single heard at the beginning of the episode was also Head Like a Hole. The only difference is, this new version is pop rock instead of electropop. Did her life actually take a new direction? Or was she simply rebranded? This screenshot shows fans of the old Ashley O leave the concert. I guess they did not relate with her obtuse BS. Above them, we notice that Ashley O kept her name. They only added a swear word in the middle. So edgy. Considering these facts, one can ask, did Catherine say F it because she decided to let Ashley go? Or did she say F it, I will rebrand her with a new edgy persona while keeping control of her? Taking things further, considering the outlandish ending of the episode, one can ask, did Ashley O actually dream all of this? Is she still in a coma? While it is considered to be science fiction, Black Mirror gained an avid viewership due to its wow that could happen factor. The episode, Rachel, Jack and Ashley 2, is no exception. As seen, the episode depicted Mealy Cyrus, an actual mind-controlled pop star, as a mind-controlled pop star. While actual trauma-based mind control is widely different from what is depicted in Black Mirror, the basic concept of a pop star slave is there, effectively bringing this conspiracy theory to the masses. With that being said, is Black Mirror attempting to expose the truth to the masses, or is it normalizing it through predictive programming? The same can be asked about the entire series. Is it warning viewers about the dangers of technology, or is it preparing them to what's to come? One thing is for sure, everything produced by Netflix is fully in line with the elite's agenda. 
For this episode, they've used their favorite pawn to act out her own slavery for entertainment. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.